Hey guys, Dimitri from The Score Esports. Now 2019 was a big year for Bolo. He went from dumpstering diamonds on YouTube to winning DreamHack. Bolo and Merc just stepping up for their team. I mean, they deserve it. You look at every LAN event they've attended as they lift the trophy. Everybody welcome your 2019 DreamHack Montreal champions. For years, the Siege community wondered whether this crazily talented YouTuber would have what it takes to cut it in the big leagues. And needless to say, 2019's given us a pretty definitive answer. So we figured what better time to count down the top 10 times that Bolo went nutty as hell. Now, in an effort to be authentic, we've included clips from ranked play, since those are the ones that made him so famous to begin with. That said, we've only included ones where he went up against future, former, or current pros. But before we get on with our list, we just wanted to remind you all that there is plenty of US Nationals action yet to come. In order to keep up with it all, be sure to check out the links in the description below. Now that's enough build up, it's time to get on with our list. Kicking off our list is the lovely little 2K that Bolo picked up in his very first Pro League match. Watch as the one and only Buelo makes his thunderous debut against Space Station Gaming in their Season 10 matchup against Team Solo Mid. I got a kill on the Bosco and then I got a claim, I think I got a claim with kill on Chapa on round four. Because my first clutch situation, it was all down to me and I won. Able to do his best, but no, Bosco will walk away from that one in great success. Now peeking around bathroom as Achieve takes out Thinking Nade. Bolo next in line. Chala takes out Achieved. There's Bolo to drop Bosco. And everybody's trading back and forth. But it's the Claymore of Bolo as Chala tries to break on out. And it's a big round from TSM's newest member. And that'll be four in a row for TSM. Throw conventional wisdom out the window here, Michael, because Villa is going in favor of the attackers. Coming in at number nine is this all too famous 1v5 overtime clutch on Bandit. From the wall bangs to the flicks to the fake outs, this is the ideal Volo ace. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. See what I did there? It's like the uh, the full bolo experience, the flicks, the wall bangs, someone in chat going, you know, going crazy, all the headshots and just it was that was, was a good time back then. This super clutch 4K comes in at number eight. The boy racked it up against Team Reciprocity on Dock in the Raleigh Major Qualifiers. Just wait until you see that gutty ass stim. Really good job there from Bolo as Merc gets lit up, but Bolo gets a kill there onto Sky, so not looking good here for Team Reciprocity as they have to make this work with only 40 seconds left. Might be able to catch him vaulting. Retro does catch Merc vaulting over as he does nice, get a nice pick. He might get two. No, he does not get two. Bolo put on 25 HP, but he's docked. He can reheal himself. He gets out of here laxing and Fox, they pick up two, and then Biologic gets one onto Fox A. Mark gets one on the Biologic board. Now it's a 1v1. Bolo versus Lax. But Lax is in the site. He, or no, Lax is not in the site. Bolo is in the site. But he doesn't have Diffuser. So Laxing here in a 1v1 with Bolo. He hears him juicing up to his left. Can he get the shots? No, he doesn't. Bolo cleans it up for 1v1 versus Laxing right there. A oh. nice clutch by Bolo right there in the 1v1. Yeah, I think he did try to uh, push in it during that time, but yeah. fell a little bit too short. And, uh, yeah. Paid the price for it at the end. Coming in at number seven is none other than the 11 second Lion Ace that Bulu pulled off several weeks after Lion was introduced to Siege. Lion was just like the perfect operator because, you know, he wasn't too slow. He had a 50 round mag and, you know, he had the scanner. And if there was a Lion with a 1X running into the building while scanning, you're basically done for. If this isn't proof of how toxic the operator was prior to his rework, I don't know what is. Cigar is clear. Major's on chain. Wow. Oh my god. Why 
back one. Oh my god, Bolo! Uh, what the eliminated. fuck? I don't know. Dude, what the? Dude, what the stuff? The 20 second inch? Was there like four in cigar? What the stuff? An absolutely filthy three-piece that Bolo picked up against Disrupt Gaming in stage two of the 2019 US Nationals clocks in at number six on our list. Honestly, this looks like it could have been taken from a pub game. Come on, Bo, why you gotta do him like that? Well, Bug being out the game along with Post, that's gonna be a huge L for Disrupt. Nice trade coming through in. Bolo is gonna go ahead and take- Bolo, 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 I'm going Bolo's camera right now. Got the 3K, all headshots. I love Marcy, and I know none of us expected that, but Bolo went absolutely huge somewhere on the map. I knew I knew they missed it on stream. So I was like, damn, that that really sucks. Cause it was I was I was kinda proud of it. I think Billy was like like telling Marcy to like look at my cam, but by the time he by the time he said that it was too late. It was all it was all done. The damage has been done. Coming into the halfway point is Bolo's absolutely ballistic garage take against Team Liquid in the grand finals of DreamHack Montreal 2019. Bolo well, inhaling a little bit of toxic gas here. TSM, they really got to get a move on. 20 seconds left, waiting for any potential flanks coming from Liquid. They still can't deal with these Echo Drones. Cannot spot them, cannot dispatch them. Pojo going for the plant now. Another smoke will land directly on him. And Jarvis attempted flank shutdown in the back by Paulu. And Pojo has been down now, picking up the diffuser and planting will be Bolo trying to hold this, trying to rush back through. Pojo has finished off with the Nitro. Bolo's still getting the plant down. He'll complete it. 2v3 into the post plant here. And they all bail out the garage now. Waiting for any flanks to come from up above. Let it lighting up Paulo. The diffuser is coming up from Sexy Cake, but it's stopped and it's tracked by Bolo. Down to the 2v2. And Chief and Bolo have the control, but Paulo with a beautiful shot down to the 1v1. It's Bolo against Paulo. On top of the diffuser now peeking out the garage. Bolo just has to kill a little bit of time. You can try and spot him underneath the car for some foot shots. And now walking outside, completely detected. Paulo dancing around the car and Bolo will clutch it up. 6-1, TSM. It was just everybody like on top of their game. Like Pojo going in at the right time to plant. Then he got, he got downed. I, I took the diffuser from him. I immediately started planting. Merc was right on my, right on me just to, to get my trade and cover me and sacrifice his life so the bomb could get down. And then we just played the post plan after that. Next is one of the juiciest Bolo clips out there. That's right, we're talking about the time Bolo aced a stack in which four members of Evil Geniuses were present. And it's taking number four on our list. I'm gonna be up in their face. I'm right into uh, Asian. Well, I have uh, one HP, and I'm gonna request assistance ASAP. <laughs> There we go. And it's even better when you watch it from Canadians' perspective. What? She's on one HP. What is this? In that game on Skyscraper, I was just like, I was on a heater. But AC Pros in rank. It wasn't my first time back then, so it was kind of. It's always nice whenever like you're playing against you know other people that are known in the community. So you always kind of get like you know props in your chat, but also it kind of sucks for the other person because then they get you know like they get some hate in their chat. Coming in at number three is Bolo's first ever pro league ace against Reciprocity in the Raleigh Major Qualifiers. Yo, Bolo gets said. a pick on the Fox mute, A, so mute, mute said. nice early pick there from the attackers. So looks like Skies will also be down to the process. Trying to find his angles into blue, but the Jaeger play it safe. All over behind the balls. I'm pushing up. As Bolo, oh, he gets a nice shot onto Laxing. There's still one HP on Skies. Oh, and that's Skies down. Bolo finds two. And he's going to be a 1v2 now. All up to Retro to clutch this out if he wants to win the first round for his team. But the plant is going down for Merc. It's up to Bolo to cover. Can he find. Maybe Hall? He's Hall. I'm holding hall. We have a drone in the hall. Nice. Ah. Uh, 
at, at first I wasn't like like right after it I, I wasn't like oh my god that was like my first early game I was just like wow I dumpstered those guys like it was just kind of like a lot of adrenaline going on I still wanted to you know continue out the game but afterwards like when I realized I was like yeah nice Fir first ace in the bag and it felt, felt, felt good felt good now this is perhaps the be-all and end-all of Blylo plays. The spawn peaking 1v5, and it takes the penultimate spot on our list. It would have been impressive against anyone, but as fate would have it, Bolo happened to be playing against four-fifths of Brazil's famous Black Dragons roster. That's right, you're watching Bolo clutch a 1v5 from his spawn against a pro league stack. I spawned in. Um, and literally, like, within seconds, my whole team is just dead. Like, they all got spawn peak. Like, I, I knew it beforehand. Like, I'm kind of, like, playing it, like, cool, like, in the spawn, because I know, you know, Lat Am, they're pretty, pretty known for, you know, they're aggressive, they're peaking, all of that. So I was like, okay. I think I even said, it, like, before, like, it, it's not in the video, but I think I said, like, watch out for spawn peaks or something like that. So I was cooling it. They all died. I was like, well, they're probably gonna peek me for the kill, so I'll just I'll just play my hand at this, see if I can get some picks, and I got I got I think what three yeah three outside on ruins, and then when I you know dwindled the numbers and I just slowly pushed in, and that's when I just took the one v ones. They they gave me the one v ones too, so I was, I was unlucky for them. <laughs> I think right around this clip like release like when it kind of like started you know like getting up there and like views that's when people are sort of like you know doing the whole like like the bolo flick the bolo lean like like titling everything like that like i, I kind of it, it kind of got me on the map like i was on, on the map a little bit before that but then it was like it was i became more known for like the uh, the mechanical movement and everything i'm pretty sure like when this happened like that whole like that like there was like a sigh or something i was pretty sick when this happened i think after that game i i, I think i just went to bed for like eight hours or something like that just to try to recover from my like I think I I, might, I think I might have had the flu at the time. Ugh. Taking the top spot on our list is the moment Bolo finally managed to turn Pro League into a ranked match. The moment at which, in a grand final on one of the biggest stages in Siege, Bolo finally gave his feral following and the North American Siege audience at large exactly what they've been waiting for. TSM attacking the Sunrise. They know that these guys are going to be extended into Kitchen. I think TSM might overextend uh, through Office, and out of nowhere, Bolo's just in the site. What is going on? How was he even able to enter? Now he's got control. Hopefully, he, oh, the bomb is going. The, the bomb is being planted out of nowhere. TSM making an aggressive rush and a rush plant. This might work out for TSM. Sexy King will take down two there, but a trade out from Bolo. Now we stand at a 3v3 in the post plant scenario. Another one rotating down, but Polly will get one. Bolo with three on the round now, looking for more. It's down to the 2v2. Sexy Cake and PSK collapsing from the blue bar in the kitchen area, trying to bring in some yokai drones. Drones in the attacking side being sent out as well. Bolo not spotting the yokai coming closer and closer as the Jaws music amplifies. But now in the hallway, that's four for Bolo. Will he get the ace turning the corner? Give it to it's him! Bolo! Let's go! Give him the ace, put it in the montage, TSM up 2-0! The confidence coming from Bolo right there, I mean, he is just unstoppable right now. The thing is, I didn't know it was an ace until, like, after the game. I didn't, I didn't even know, like, I was just, I was just so caught up in the moment. I was just so hyped and just like, all the adrenaline and everything like that, it was, it was, it was surreal. Definitely crazy, because again, I was like, I've been a spectator of this, you know, the esports scene for a long, long time. And I even went to New Jersey, Atlantic City for the season seven finals, where Liquid won. And then being able to, you know, play against them for a spot at the Invitational and, you know, acing them and just do it, like just giving my, my hundred, like a hundred percent to the game and just winning is it's it, that was emotional that was that was crazy that was really really something I, if i do say so myself well guys you heard it from the man himself those are the top 10 best bolo plays be sure to hop in the comments and let us know if there's any sick plays that you think we missed make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.